Give me a proper engine, some petrol fumes, and a good old-fashioned roar. That's what I say. There's something undeniably thrilling about the raw power of a motorcycle. But times are changing, aren't they? The world is moving towards greener alternatives. Electric bikes promise the thrill of the ride without the environmental guilt. So when Denago offered to let me have a go on their Hunting One EMTB, I thought, why not? It was an opportunity to see if this adventure e-bike could win me over. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Could this be the future of outdoor adventure? The Denago Hunting One is marketed as an all-terrain machine, perfect for outdoor enthusiasts like hunters, fishermen, and campers. It promises versatility and a ruggedness. And you know what? It actually looks the part. The design is sleek yet robust, clearly built for the wild. Sturdy frame, fat tires, built to handle rough terrains with ease. It even comes in, in you know, camouflage colors, blending, you know, seamlessly with nature. It's like they designed it specifically to appeal to blokes like me, practical, rugged, and a bit of a show-off. I have to admit I was rather impressed. Let's dive deeper and look at both the pros and cons of this e-bike. The first thing you notice about the Denago Hunting One is its size. It's imposing and demands attention right from the get-go. This thing is a beast built to conquer any terrain you throw at it. It's got a powerful looking motor and a battery pack that's bigger than my first car. The engineering behind it is truly impressive, but despite its bulk, it handles surprisingly well. The agility it offers is quite unexpected for its size. The riding position is comfortable and the controls are all with an easy reach. You feel like you feel in command, no matter the situation. The Denago Hunting One comes equipped with a dual battery system, which is a godsend for long rides. You can go the extra mile with these without uh, worrying about running out of juice and you can even charge grab your phone or other devices from it which is a, a nice touch it's like having a portable power station with you uh, the pedal assist has five different levels so you can choose how much help you want from the motor whether you need a little boost or a lot it's got you covered and believe me this motor packs a punch the acceleration is thrilling making every ride an adventure um, I took the den the Denigo for a spin through the woods and uh, I was absolutely blown away by its performance. Uh, the motor is incredibly powerful and efficient and it made light work of even the steepest hills with ease. The tires gripped the rugged terrain like claws and I never once felt like I was going to lose control, not even for a second. The torque sensor is also very responsive and accurate. As soon as you start pedaling, the motor kicks in and gives you a significant boost. This makes for a very natural and intuitive riding experience. It's almost like you're riding a regular bike, but with an invisible force pushing you along the way. Now, I wouldn't be uh, doing my job properly if I didn't find something to complain about, would I? It's part of the job to scrutinize every detail, after all. And the Denago Hunting One does have a couple of minor drawbacks. Let's dive into them. First, it's a heavy beast. Weighing in at 39 kilograms, it's not the easiest thing to maneuver. Lugging it around could be a bit of a chore, especially if you're planning on taking it up any mountains. Imagine trying to push this up a steep incline. It's not for the faint-hearted. Second, uh, the weight limit is a bit on the low side at 300 pounds. And this means you have to be mindful of how much you load onto it. Now, I'm not one to talk about my weight, but let's just say that if you're, if you're built like a rugby player, you might want to consider a different model. It's, it's crucial to ensure that the bike can handle your weight, plus any additional cargo. But for the average bloke, it shouldn't be a problem. Most people will find it perfectly adequate for their daily commutes and weekend adventures. So, would I take it hunting? What's the final verdict? Well, I have to say, I'm rather impressed with the Denago hunting one. It's a powerful and capable e-bike that's well suited for outdoor adventures. It's not perfect, but its pros far outweigh its cons. Would I take it hunting? You bet I would. Just don't tell May and Hammond.